It is to you. Good morning. Hey, young people, hoy. Muko. Hebuni yonyesha kwa mkono muko. Our first lady of the Republic of Kenya, Her Excellency Rachel Ruto, Honorable Ezekiel Mashogu, Cabinet uh, Secretary, Ministry of Education, all our PSAs who are present here today, the President of the Children, we salute you. You have done a great job here. I was just admiring you as you read, you read your piece. Our Vice Chancellors who are present here, Our Excellencies, the Ambassadors, our distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, and our dear learners. Allow me to extend my gratitude for your active participation and engagement over the past three productive days. Our collective efforts have resulted to an exchange of profound ideas all with the ultimate aim of nurturing a sustainable green economy that propels us towards a future marked by environmental harmony and well-being. The importance of the environmental action is now clear and resounding. It is my hope that this becomes an integral part of our daily discourse, influencing our daily actions. It is in this spirit that we must consider the Nairobi Declaration, which serves as a guiding principle for Africa's res resolute commitment to addressing climate uh, change through concrete actions. Today's final gathering at the First Ladies Pavilion marks a pivotal moment in our um, journey towards a greener future, one that promises socio-economic transformation. We must adapt a methodical, multi-step approach to rally our nation in response to the global call for a more sustainable world. It is incumbent upon us to encourage and firm up local and global collaborations. We must develop indigenous solutions to counter the climate crisis that threaten our existence on the planet. This existential threat can only be countermanded by a divine order that says in Genesis chapter 1, 29, 27 and 28 says, so God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them, male and female, and he created he them. God blessed them and said to them, be fruitful and increase in number. Fill the earth and subdue it. Rule the fish, the sea, and the birds in the air, of the, uh, the, uh, in, the, in the sky, and over every living creature that moves upon the earth. Then God also said, I give you every green bearing plant on the face of the whole earth and every tree that has fruits with seeds in it. They will be yours for food. My unwavering commitment to, uh, to the ideals of Africanization, uh, Africanism uh, has Pan-Africanism has instilled in me a deep belief in the power of local solutions to address global issues while enhancing the dignity of our people's livelihoods. Africa and Africans, and indeed all mankind, hold the key to the green future. We should be accountable to a better future and we must allow our children 
and our youth to stand proudly on our shoulders to see as we guide them to participate in making a great green future. Ladies and gentlemen, Kenya is with its distinguished history of environmental advocacy, should aspire to emerge, uh, to emerge as a, sta uh, as a tra stabilizer in our continent. Let our, our actions speak louder than our words. I implore our youth to put on their, uh, their thinking caps and develop innovative solutions to urgently and deliberately combat local and global environmental challenges in all our cities, in our rural community, and in our rural communities. The boundless energy of your youth must be harnessed for this noble course, answering the clarion call for, uh, for action. It is with this conviction that I extend a warm and humble welcome to the esteemed champion of climate change and the environment, and, and environment in our beloved country, Her Excellency Mama Rachel Ruto, our first lady to address the climax of this Africa Climate Summit. Please give a round of applause for our first lady, the mother of our nation, Rachel Ruto. Better clap for her. Samuel Smith, President of the Children's Assembly. Honorable Ezekiel Machogu, Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Education. Engineer Festas Ngeno, Principal Secretary, Environment and Climate Change. Mrs. Veronica Nduva, Principal Secretary, Gender and Affirmative Action. Dr. Belio Kipsang, Principal Secretary, Basic Education, Ministry of Education. Dr. Beatrice Inyangala, Principal Secretary, Higher Education and Research, Ministry of Education. Ambassadors of Costa Rica, South Korea and Israel. Vice Chancellors from Nairobi, Masai Mara and Eldoret Universities. All our partners in different industries and sectors who have made this event possible. Of course, my sister, Pastor Dorcas Rigadi, distinguished learners, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. I said good morning. Good morning. Jambo. Jambo. Mambo. Karibuni KICC. Na kwa wale ambao awajafika Nairobi, karibuni Nairobi. I'm so delighted to be part of this occasion that has brought all of us together to not only celebrate our God-given talents, but also chart a way forward on how we can use our creativity to conserve the environment. Before I continue, receive greetings from the President of the Republic of Kenya and the host of the African Climate Summit 2023, Dr. William Samoe Ruto. <laughs> Seeing you all here today looking so good and happy gives me immense joy. I love being around young people. Your curious, inquisitive minds is what spurs new ideas. As a trained teacher, I respect the noble job that teachers have been called to, contributing to the shaping of minds and influencing lives. To all the teachers here today and all over the continent and the world, kudos for the good work you do, and may the Lord bless you. Indeed, we are here today to make a very important announcement that is just for you. All of you are environmental ambassadors and we urge you to do the following three things. One, use your God-given talent to provide information and stories about the environment and how we can make our world a better place. Two, plant and grow trees at home, at your school, with your family, classmates and friends. You can also grow fruit trees at your schools and homes. The fruit trees will not only contribute to creating a better environment, 
They are also a source of food and income. According to Nelson Henderson, the true meaning of life is to plant trees under whose shade you do not expect to sit, end of quote. Make sure your environment is always clean, number three. Do not litter. This will keep diseases at bay. As the saying goes, cleanliness is next to godliness. The future of our nation is dependent on all of us. And what we do today will impact all of us tomorrow. And more so to you learners, since the future belongs to you. As Warren Buffett says, someone sitting in the shed today because someone planted a tree a long time ago. This is why it is so important to ensure that the environment is protected and taken care of. Do I have your commitment that you will protect the environment around you? Thank you very much. Do you promise to plant trees and, make, and take care of them so that they grow? Thank you very much. We are gathered here today to launch an award that will reward those who are playing a significant role in environmental conservation, uh, environmental preservation and conservation through their creativity. We are also here to recognize and award those who participated in our first call of the competition. We asked all of you and even many others who are not here to provide us with various forms of creative expression of what the name of the competition, the tagline, and what the logo should look like. I acknowledge the outstanding contributions to the development of the logo, name, and tagline for this award. We will be awarding the best entries today. To every student and school that participated, your ideas and dedication is deeply appreciated. Learners, ladies and gentlemen, with a median age of 19, our nation is a young, dynamic entity that holds incredible potential. According to a World Bank report of 2022, we have about 17 million students in primary and secondary schools in Kenya, as indicated even by our CS today. This award will target learners, including special needs students, in over 89,000 public and private primary and secondary schools across all the 47 counties of our great republic, Kenya. Our schools are the fertile grounds that will sprout a generation of conservationists and guardians of the planet. Schools are able to nurture a generation of environmentally conscious citizens. Although the largest segment of the population affected by climate change is young people, including learners, they lack a forum to express their opinions and suggestions and suggested solutions. And we are grateful because of what the president has told us today through their resolutions. The award is one of the many forums that will provide a platform for learners to not only express themselves creatively, but also engage in conservation while least educating those around them and calling them to action on the ground. Further, the award will address the need to inculcate climate change awareness among children and youth as stipulated in Kenya's National Climate Change Framework Policy and the Climate Change Act of 2016. Learners, ladies and gentlemen, climate change is no longer a, con a conversation behind closed doors. The effects are plain for all to see. This is why it is important for everyone to take proactive steps towards environmental stewardship. Kenya has experienced the worst drought in 40 years, where some areas missed rainfall for over four consecutive seasons, resulting in a massive loss of livestock and wildlife due to the lack of water and fodder. As a result, the National Drought Management Authority had predicted that by February 2023, 5.4 million Kenyans would be living in severe food insecurity. We thank God for the rains that have eased the hunger situation in the country through food production. On December, 20, on December 21, 2022, the president launched the National Tree Growing Restoration Campaign, which is mobilizing the nation, that is all of us, to plant and grow 15 billion trees by 2032. This initiative, 
we'll see our tree cover grow from the current 12.13% to the targeted 30% by 2032. This is an ambitious target that needs all of us to participate in it. In support of the President's initiative, I have committed to grow 500 million trees. One of the initiatives towards the 500 million trees is the adoption of 200 hectares, which is approximately 500 hectares, acres of degraded section of Kakamega forest for restoration. We have, thank you. We have, we have planted 1.149607 trees across the country. We have also established 33 mama fruit gardens in schools in Kakamega, Transoia, Elgeyo Marraquet, Nandi counties, and donated 5,428 seedlings to schools. At Kakamega Forest, Shikuza Block, we have planted 30,000 trees, and we are currently in the process of building six classrooms at Shikuza Primary School. You know, when I see us, when we went to Shikusa Primary School, where the prison is, because that is the Shikusa prison, we were actually taken to classrooms that, uh, you know, the, the kids are still smearing and, you know, they still have mud and very poor condition. And uh, what we committed at Mama Doing Good is to, uh, is to uh, 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 construct six classrooms, as you can see, and the construction is going on. And uh, I'm sure uh, when we change the environment of the kids, you know, the learning environment, because it is one thing to talk about the environment, which is the growing of the trees, but also the learning environment also needs to change so that our children can learn better. They can have better uh, good conditions. And as God enables us, as we continue going to these places, we shall continue to partner with your ministry to make sure that at least the children have a good learning environment. Thank you. As we thought of what other ways we could support the National Tree Restoration Campaign, the idea of including learners was born. Proverbs chapter 26 verse 6 says, Train up a child in the way they should go, and as they grow, they will not forget. And I know many of the times we quote this verse of the Bible are looking at character and just helping the children in their character development. But also in issues environment, it applies. Because when we teach our children to conserve the environment as young as they are seated here today, and then going into their future, they will not forget and they will continue conserving the environment. Learners, ladies and gentlemen, the Environmental Award is a learner-led initiative that incorporates creativity and innovation. It is also important to note that teachers are the key to the success of these awards in helping the learners through the process and working with them to become true environmentalists. It will be my joy to see all of you and every school participate in this competition. Apart from expressing yourself creatively on matters environment, you will learn how to practically plant and take care of trees, vegetables, and much more, which is part of the practical learning as envisioned in the competence-based curriculum, CBC. The award we are launching today adds to the many initiatives that are all aimed at turning back the tide of environmental degradation and mitigation against the effects of climate change. Learners, ladies and gentlemen, the power to shape our world lies within each of us, but especially with our youth. Ladies and gentlemen, let us empower our learners to become the driving force in our mission to safeguard our environment for them and the generations to come. To our partners, your support has been invaluable. Together we are fostering a generation of passionate and sustainable environmental warriors who will ardently conserve our precious surroundings and collectively build a better planet for all. In the upcoming phases, we will work closely with the Ministry of Education, Science and Technology, the Ministry of Environment, Climate Change and Forestry, and the Ministry of Agriculture and Livestock Development to ensure that every learner across the country is aware of this award program. Every participant in this award scheme will become part of a growing movement of conservationists whose impact will last for generations to come. Learners are the Learners, uh, sorry, learners, are you going to participate in the environmental award competition? Yes. Let me see your hands. Are you going to participate? 
thank you very much for that uh, commitment that you have showed us. Now, with those few remarks, I am pleased to award the winners of the logo, the name, and the tagline competition and declare the First Lady Environmental Award officially launched. Thank you for your kind attention and may God bless you. Come on, let's stand and celebrate the launch.